a desperate struggle for basic supplies as women jostle in the pouring rain. A kaleidoscope of colour among this drab, squalid and desperate existence as two months of hunger turns to frustration. These women are under lockdown in Dalatia, Bangladesh, one of the biggest brothels in the world. Its doors are now closed to customers in an attempt to stop the spread of COVID-19. With nothing to eat and no way to earn money, their only hope is to be one of the lucky ones to receive a bag of rice. Thank God I got the relief, this woman says. The local government, police and charities have been bringing in supplies to help them survive, including this activist who used to be a sex worker. I'm trying to help them, she says. I want them to be safe and healthy, but these supplies will only last them a week. For the 1,500 women and girls stuck in this filthy, sprawling slum 100 kilometres outside Dhaka, they say this aid is not enough. If this continues, women and children will die from starvation. We pray that the virus will go away. For 25-year-old Nodi, her world has gone from bad to worse. She arrived at the brothel when she was 14, after she says she was tricked by a broker and sold to a brothel madam. More than a decade after being sold into sexual slavery, Nodi is now facing a new problem, hunger. Because of this pandemic, we are now in trouble. There isn't enough relief for everyone. Nodi has a son that lives with family who have disowned her. She says it's better this way. We want our children to be far away from us so that they can become good human beings. Situated on the banks of the Padma River, with a train line running next to it, Dulatia is one of 11 government-sanctioned brothels in Bangladesh. Prostitution is legal here if you are over the age of 18. Before the lockdown, around 3,000 men would visit this brothel every day. Many of them truck drivers transporting goods to the train station or ferry terminal. A study by a local human rights group showed 80% of the sex workers were trafficked or tricked into coming here and many of them are underage. The local police chief denies there are underage sex workers in the brothel, but he did tell CNN that human trafficking has been a problem and something they're working to combat. The Bangladesh Home Ministry also told CNN that the law has severe penalties for trafficking and says police are on full alert for this even during the pandemic. Some of the women in the camp are pregnant fathered by men who pay as little as $2 for sex. And of the roughly 500 children inside, many of them were born in the brothel. 22-year-old Shirovi was one of them. Her mother was a sex worker, but gave her to a local charity to raise. Shirovi received an education, got married and moved to the capital until her marriage fell apart. Homeless with no job, she ended up back in the place she thought she'd escaped. Her dreams of making enough money to buy a plot of land and break away from this existence now drifting away. I am facing a financial crisis which threatens our survival. If I do not have any income, I cannot support my child. The support we are getting from the government is not enough. She can't even buy baby milk or diapers for her 10-month-old boy. It seems like we have died before death. Now Shirovi and these other women face an uncertain future inside this living hell. Anna Corrin, CNN.